Welcome to Copy with Viking. I am the Viking, and I'm sorry for the way I'm sounding right now. I uh, I got sick last night. I don't know if it has to do with all the hours and the lack of sleep, but uh, I woke up not feeling very good today either. But uh, I still wanted to get these devotions out for y'all. And today's devotion is on character and faith. But I wanted to do something a little different because there was only 28 days in this month. And I guess this was written for a leap year. So there is a February 29th as well. So I was going to do that one as well. And the 29th is preparing for home. I go to prepare a place for you, John 14, 2. Nothing thrills me more than seeing the Holy Spirit at work. The, wor the word of God travels to the farthest corners of the earth, proclaiming the good news of salvation it still excites me excites me just to think just to think about the impact Jesus Christ did conquer death and by his resurrection he was victorious before his before he left earth, his impaired, he imparted to his followers the greatest of all strategies. Go into the world and preach the gospel. After listening to his word, they looked up to see their savior nearing his heavenly home. What home are you preparing for in your life? Some people spend their lives building ultimate dream homes so they can enjoy their twilight years. Some find retirement center or nursing home but choosing your eternal home is the most important decision you will ever make. And that is very true. For the, for the Christian, the last mile of the way is a testimony to God's faithfulness. For he has prepared a place for you regardless of where you lay your head at night. I hope your thoughts are about your heavenly home. And I know mine are. And I'm sorry about the way that was read. I Honestly, everything's kind of blurry right now. All right. In today's devotion, character and faith... My little children, let us not love, let us not love in word or in tongue, but in deed and in truth. First John 3.18. Oh, oh. My parents had a profound impact on me. My mother's kind and gentle character and concern for the spirited welfare of others are reaping fruit still today. I recall also 
with deep gratitude, my father's example of honesty, integrity, discipline, and hard work over the years. Countless others have influenced me and changed me, but the example of their lives, although I am sure they were unaware of it, the same has probably been true of people in your life. The greatest legacy you can pass on is the legacy of your character and your faith. If our character is bad, marked by lack of integrity or any other negative quality, this is how we will be remembered. But if our character and integrity have been shaped by Christ over the years, others can help but see this and remember it. Why is faith our greatest legacy? Because the memory of what we were like, not just our personalities, but our, char our character and our faith has the potential to influence others for Christ. How do you want to be remembered? I know I want to be remembered for someone that lived for Christ and put his word out there and someone that actually cared about others. And I think the beginning of this week at work proved that. But uh, how do you all want to be remembered? Uh, I really am sorry I was struggling to read that today. Everything was kind of blurred. But I hope you all have a wonderful day. Stay blessed, stay caffeinated, and keep strong in the faith. Much love to each and every one of you.